Welcome to ArgoCon. Give it a clap. Huzzah. Uh, my name is Dan Garfield, and uh, my name is Wojtek Cichol. Uh, on behalf of the Argo committee, we welcome you. We're really excited to be kicking off the very first uh, ArgoCon EU. Very first time we're doing this. A yeah. um, couple of uh, housekeeping items before we kick off. Obviously, we want to thank our sponsors for making this happen. Uh, Acuity, Red Hat, CodeFresh, Harness, Intuit, and PipeKit. Yeah, make sure guys that you check out their, their stalls there. There's a lot of Argo swag to grab, some chocolate even, so make sure you get there. Argo chocolate, Argo t-shirts, Argo trinkets of all kinds. Uh, obviously this session is being recorded and will be available later along with all of the slides. Um, there are two tracks. This room is the Argo CD and rollouts room. The And ahead. the other one is the workflows and events are later on also rollouts. So it's a mix, but yeah, that's the setup. Uh, hopefully you won't have to be doing too much uh, running back and forth this morning especially. Um, and then lastly, I think it's time to introduce our first speaker. Yeah, without further ado, I would like to introduce uh, Hong Wang, uh, Acuity CEO and one of the creators of Argo. Give him a warm welcome. Okay, we still have people coming. All right, to uh, grab a seat. I think there's a plenty of seats in front, and we can start. Okay, good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to the very first ArgoCon in Europe. And thank you for joining us. And uh, a brief introduction about myself is uh, my name is Hongwan, and I'm one of the Argo project creators, and also the co-founder and the CEO at Acuity. And uh, I was part of the initial Argo journey at Applatix and also, also at Intuit. And today I'm representing the whole community to kick off your ArgoCon experience. So um, I know we have new friends here, we have old friends here, so I won't assume everyone know Argo perfectly. So I will give a little bit like a history part about what Argo is doing and how we get there. So the overall Argo idea is quite simple. And uh, we believe the Kubernetes is the operating system for cloud. It is like the Linux for single machine. And uh, Argo is to fill the gap and make it easy to adopt Kubernetes with Kubernetes native solutions. So I believe you could tell the Argo project is very unique among all the CNCF project. So it's made of the four products to solve different problem, and they are independent. I believe we have different audience here, like someone is coming from the Argo workflow perspective. They are doing the automation, CI, CD, uh, data processing. We also have people love the Argo CD, love the user experience, and doing GitOps here. So Argo CD, that's the first one I list there, is the most popular GitOps solution. And it helps to manage the life cycle of business, both the business applications and also the system applications, like Istio Certificate Manager. Basically, you're using Argo CD, kind of like manage your whole Kubernetes cluster. So Argo Workflow is the Kubernetes native workflow engine. Simply, if you already know about Kubernetes, it's basically the advanced version of the Kubernetes job. But it do way more than just job. And Argo Routes is doing the progress delivery, including the blue-green and canary patterns. It can also do the experimentation. So in a nutshell, it is an advanced version of the Kubernetes deployment controller. It's kind, of, it's kind of like can do the dropping replacement of the Kubernetes deployment there also. So Argo Events is the last one, but not least one. So it's the uh, event-based dependency manager, how we understand it. It basically helps you to glue the external events with the Kubernetes events. So it can trigger the necessary action in the Kubernetes native way. So let's look back the history a little bit, just trying to help understand. So everything, everything started at a company called Applatix. So we built the end-to-end -end DevOps platform on top of the Kubernetes before the customer resource definition era. Basically, it was not there yet. So that was Argo Workflow 1.0. So if you are curious, go to the Argo Workflow repository, switch over the branch to be 1.0. You'll 
you see our old shitty code. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was a bit complicated system to maintain because everyone saw sort of like see nowadays controller is everywhere. You basically leverage the etcd as your database. Then it kind of solved a lot of the pain in there. So later we were able to redesign and rework the core engine based on the CRD and the system became basically the Argo workflow 2.0 and soon we got acquired by Intuit and Intuit asked us to help them to kick off their Kubernetes journey. So after we joined Intuit, we have the tremendous support from the company to execute on our vision. So not only we have the development resources, but also we have the best possible customer to help us to validate our ideas, who is basically into itself. So uh, new ideas, what uh, turned out to be the new project were added to the Argo family quickly. We got Argo CD, we got Argo routes, and we also getting the Argo events from the BlackRock. And those ideas are not random. So, but were based on our own experience to adopt Kubernetes at large scale. So in 2020, we donated the Argo project to CNCF, and that basically another chapter started. So sort of like numbers speaks for themselves. So with the ever increasing velocity, we were able to release new versions and features in a predictable cadence. And the whole system and also adoption were growing exponentially also. So here's an interesting page and uh, kind of like two years in a row out of the 150 projects on the CNCF, Argo ranked the third in terms of the project velocity. Well, I don't think we can beat Kubernetes and uh, given we are betting on it to be the Kubernetes native solution, so Kubernetes should always be the number one. And then open telemetry also has a very strong momentum backed by the observability needs. And I'm pretty happy we are settling on the third place here. So thank you. And uh, in the late 2022, we graduated. And that was the defining moment. And also the great recognition of the effort from all the maintainers and the contributors. And that was amazing. So I would admit that it was not an easy journey. And mostly due to the fact is we have four products to graduate. So those four products are quite independent and solving, like focus on different areas. So we do have to repeat some process four times. And, uh, and we made it. I'm very happy we made it. And uh, we got a good celebration at that time. And uh, thank you. And uh, graduation is a milestone and not our destination. So it's a trophy and uh, shared by all the contributors and our journey continues from here. So five years ago, and uh, when we just uh, be a handful of the people working on the project, I could not imagine one day we have about like, 10,000 contributors, like big or small, like from all over the world. I remember in 2018, we discussed uh, how to celebrate when we reached the 1,000 GitHub stars for Argo workflows. And four years later, we have almost like 30,000 now. So it's still accelerating. And it's just like amazing journey. And thank you for the support. And a lot of people here may already be our contributors. And thank you for the supporting uh, support to get us here. OK, so um, this is just some numbers here. Uh, but just don't, don't take the number for granted. It's just number is number. Like many companies had adopted Argo in the production. So in 2021, there was about like 200 companies self-reported them they are using Argo in the production. And in, now it's 476. It's much bigger. The numbers keep growing. But it really doesn't represent the truth, ado true adoption number it's basically a trend you can rely on, since not all the companies will not uh, add themselves to our repository. So I'm pretty sure currently there are thousands of companies are now relying on Argo in the production now. So uh, I mean, speaking of the success of the project, and I would give a lot of credits to our users and the supporters. So thank you for the feedback and the participation in the community to help us to shape the product to be better. 
it is the best thing I could have uh, from the open source and the community to cheer us up and keep us going. I can tell that uh, we are working on day to day in the community, a lot of times getting burned about all so many issues, so many security patches. But being here, see a lot of people showing up, supporting us, means a lot to us. And thank you. So this is something very fresh. And uh, uh, I got this message from my college uh, colleague, Alex, recently. And someone from the community sent him this screenshot. And it reads, and who invented Argo CD? And he must be one of the most lovely person in the world. And the second comment is, uh, I don't even use it, but I love it. So that's just like something, you got this good vibe in the community. <laughs> cool. Um, I want to emphasize one thing. So when we are talking about a much larger adoption across different industries, I'm pretty sure like people are from totally different industries here and there. So we have to stay above and beyond regarding the security practices. So the security audits and reviews are already our general practice, so it's done. But we are also actively participating in all the CNCF security-related program to improve ourselves to the next level. So one thing we did recently is we participated in the Security Slam North America. And there's a code there. Basically, we are the team moved our own goalpost. Basically, we, we try to hold ourselves to be a higher standard. So it's just a, another reflection of our commitment to the security practice in general. And uh, you can fully trust us with your production environment. Um, here's my opinion is uh, I know I would consider Argo is reasonably successful at this stage. So what makes Argo tick in the end? So here's all my opinion. So I believe we have the best technology <laughs> in a trust ecosystem. And uh, people like the lightweighted, flexible, and a to the point solution. And Argo is doing that. Second, and we have a good diversity, not to mention we have uh, 10,000 contributors from all over the world. We also have the community made of both end users and the vendors. So it's much healthy and strong setup. So keep things going and keep things stable. And uh, last but not least is about effort. And uh, we do commit to work with all the contributors in the community with our limited resource, but we try our best. We do a lot. Just make sure we fully committed and to make the product to be sustainable here. OK, you guys already see this page, but I want to call it out. Says, uh, please get involved with the Argo project. And you can start contributing. You can have the feature request, uh, fixing some issues, do some implementation, do the documentation, or simply help answer questions in the Slack channel. We got a very vibrant Slack channel in the CNCF Slack. And please be there. Second, you can be our champion in your company. Use Argo and help your teammates to learn more about Argo. And uh, you can share your Argo experience, and good or bad, we appreciate both. And we appreciate all kinds of the feedback to make the product better. So I already mentioned that this is the third time. There is a QR code there. So we are doing our survey, community survey for this year. So scan it and just participate in the survey and give us the feedback. So I think in the end, I want to thank you for all the Argo Con Diamond sponsors, Acuity and Red Hat. And also thank you for the Plantium sponsors, Codefresh and Harness and also the Go sponsor Intuit and Pipekit. And thank you for sponsoring the event to make this possible. And uh, please do drop by the Argo kiosk uh, tomorrow in the KubeCon. We have a uh, Argo project booth. And also, you guys already know all the Argo vendors to grab your swag. And uh, at last, this is my joke from my last ArgoCon. May the sync and healthy be with you. Hopefully you get it. All right, thank you.